welcome to this new and spotlight In this and spotlight we're gonna look at the Fleet 50k airplane, which is this one. Uh, as you can see, it is a converted one, so it's converted from a Flight Simulator X. Um, there are some issues with it, it's currently in beta, but as you can see the first issue is that if you start from the runway, uh, one of the engines is not running. Initially it does, but then it falls out, and then the other engine also falls out, so that looks like to be an issue with this uh, current version. Um, so also, so from graphical perspective, it looks looks nice, right? There are some some things which are, I would say, requiring some attention, but you can see that everything works uh, as expected. Also, flaps to dry is working, uh, although I don't see the flaps moving a lot. Uh, so let's zoom in a bit. The flaps are also not moving. Uh, you can see that the uh, say levelers to make the aircraft turn are working right so the the wings are working correctly but it looks like that this aircraft doesn't even have flaps uh, maybe that's normal i'm not sure uh, so let's go inside uh, from the inside we can see that the uh, let's say aircraft is a, a really old one it contains some nice buttons here really detailed but they're not working yet uh, i think it will come into a would say you know a little bit further when it's developed a little bit further also the meters they are okay but they're not look as fancy as uh, compared to other airplanes so to make sure that you can start the engines you will need to uh, hit the alt key and then the p for the uh, pumps and then you can hit the control and e key to uh, start the engines uh, I didn't find another way because these buttons are not working yet uh, to start the engines. And uh, then once you're done, you can inc say increase the throttle, uh, remove the park brake, and then you can take off. As we are currently doing. So let's see how it works. Let's see if we can get airborne. So now the wheel from the back here as you can see so now we're driving on the uh, two wheels so the wing is from the the ground so let's see if we can get airborne with this one it looks like we're airborne so let's look from the outside yes Uh, there are currently some limitations, for example, you can't, I uh, would say, uh, press the G key or uh, make sure that the gears are uh, up, and that's a known limitation, uh, so be aware of that. But you can at least fly this aircraft, that's very good, uh, very nice, so let's uh, fly a bit around, let's make a little bit of climb, but then look from the outside uh, as it flies, right? So. Here is it, uh, you can see that both engines are running, one or for how long, because they also stopped uh, on the runway, uh, I would say I would say this detail, like the, the lights are really nice, unfortunately you can't switch on the lights yet, but that again will come with a new release uh, once developers have done their work. It's uh, pretty well controllable I should say, uh, you can see it has big wheels, so big rotors but when you look from the length of the aircraft you can see it's really small right it's not one of the biggest aircrafts uh, you may have seen uh, it's only used for transport right so if you would go inside uh, you would see some uh, baggage right here there are some uh, boxes and some other things so they developers paid a lot of attention to detail uh, but from flight perspective, there's some a little bit more to to do, especially the buttons in the uh, cockpit. It would be really nice if they can get those working. Um, we're going outside for the cockpit again, and then uh, we're flying. Uh, so, cool aircraft, a uh, lot of potential, I would say, uh, but also still a lot of uh, work to do. Uh, but I'm pretty sure that developers will spend some time uh, developing a great aircraft. You can download it for free from FlightSim.2, which is I'll say, the known website for great add-ons, as most of you already know. Uh, in the 
description of this video you will find a link uh, where you can download the aircraft and you can give it a try yourself of course if you want here is this video i hope you liked it if you liked it then consider to use the like button if you've got questions or comments then feel free to add those in the comment box below the video and if you want to stay up to date about new videos i'm posting then consider subscribing to my channel thanks for watching and see you next time